Nah, just thought. Hey guys, how are we this week? Shanku right here. Today, on Growing with Wisdom, we're going to learn all about reading. Yes, literally, how to read. Before you go away from this video, let me clarify what I mean. You're probably thinking, hey, I know how to read. Yeah, of course you do. Jokes aside, what I'm going to be teaching you are the tips and tricks of how to read fast and effectively. I have explored in my last video about the importance of reading and showed you how I failed miserably at the challenge of attempting to read a book a day. If you have not watched the video, be sure to click on the link in the description above so that you can watch it. And also, if you have not started reading the book since my last video, it's not too late. Pick up a book lying around in your house right now. Does not matter if the shell is wet or the subtle art of not giving up. Just start reading. Reading is simple. All you have to do is to open a book and read. Strangely enough, while it is such a simple and beneficial task, most people do not read. And even the majority who does, do not make it to the end. The reason behind this, as I have alluded in my previous content, was that our society is highly distractible. We lack focus, discipline, commitment, and curiosity. Sounds like a sad generation, doesn't it? Thankfully, I'm here to teach you a few tricks of how you can improve your focus, train your discipline, and allow you to read effectively. Faster, better than ever before. By the end of this video, you will develop focus, commitment, and sure will. You will be John Wick. Tip number one, understand the author. Imagine you have been given a book. Rather than opening it and slowly reading, trying to figure out what is it all about, your first instinct should be to find out who wrote it, what is it all about, and most importantly, what do you hope to learn from reading? Reading is always easier when you know what the author wants to convey. It helps you to form a perception of what to expect, what to focus on, and allow your thoughts to be challenged by the new ideas presented in the book. I always start the book by reading the tiny section about the author, what areas they specialize in, and then I'll read the little section to summarize the book. Lastly, I will read the table of contents so I know what to look forward to. This little action would benefit another tips that I will share at a later part of this video. Tip number two, speed reading. In my humble opinion, is one of the most useful skill that anyone can possess. It requires training to do it effectively. Otherwise, you wouldn't understand any of the content you just read. Start slow and wide, and gradually you'll be able to go faster. The key of speed reading is to use your peripheral vision. We use our peripheral vision on a daily basis, mainly as a protective mechanism to avoid dangers. For example, during driving or when we are actively trying to use drop on our partner's conversation. In reality, we could train it to our advantage. Start looking at a page. Visually, divide the book into three segments. In this example, I will use the bookmark to illustrate what I mean. The section covered by the bookmark are where your eyes are supposed to track. The areas not covered will be covered by a peripheral vision. By moving your eyes over a small segment of the paragraph and using your peripheral vision, you will find that you can jump from one sentence to another at a much faster pace without losing context. Of course, like I said, it is a lot harder than it sounds, but with sufficient practice, anyone can do it. Tip number three, skip reading. Early on, I mentioned browsing through the tables of content to get an idea of what the book is about. By looking through the table of content, you can identify what topics interest you and simply just read them. Simple. No one said you have to read the whole book in an orderly fashion. Tip number four, 
find a conducive environment where you read matters. If you're not comfortable, you will always be distracted by your environment around you. For example, I've created a loft in my bedroom as a dedicated place for me to read peacefully. Lastly, don't stop reading. Read whenever, wherever. Whatever you do, make it a habit. If you have a choice to play a game or read a book, always read the damn book. That's it guys. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.